Welcome back my friends to another awesome crash course and here in this crash course we're gonna discuss about CSS Grid. So why are we gonna use CSS Grid? Is we're gonna talk about a little bit of the history tables and floats and also we're gonna mention Flexbox because we already covered Flexbox so um, you should learn Flexbox or you should see my course crash course about Flexbox before this. Uh, that is my recommendation. So what we're gonna do is actually that today we're gonna start about uh, talking about CSS Grid and we're gonna create our project. Sorry, so I got hiccups. And before that, we're gonna talk about history. And the history is that we use tables. When I start learning in the in university, I uh, I jumped from we three schools. There was a there was a there was a tables so we we have done the layouts with the tables it was super complex not flexible not working for me so I start learning CSS and how to use tables in order to create layouts and but that is not always successful as we want it to be so next chapter is that we after the the tables they were a floats you know we I still sometimes use floats uh, when I do simple things so you have a container or a wrap element so you you need a wrap element actually like this wrapper and you can float things uh, on the right or the left side but there is a clear fix hack that you need to apply in order to clear the floats after that and that is uh, some for some people it is not good option and it wasn't good option for me that's why I, I start learning flexbox that's the next thing so flexbox came and we did um, so we did an awesome course about that one so bootstrap 4 actually relies on flexbox and in my advanced course I teach about how to use flexbox with the bootstrap 4 because can I use like every year if you, if you go to can I use here if you go to can I use if you type flexbox or CSS grid I open this for, for CSS grid and you now can be see that with prefix without using any prefix the CSS grid is 90.65% so that is very good rate so here you can see partial support with prefix MS this is for Internet Explorer right everything else is pretty much supported right and you can start using in your uh, for example if you start business and you can start using in your production production and uh, you will not be worried about how CSS grid will affect before that's why I use flexbox together with uh, with uh, bootstrap because bootstrap was um, uh, it can be shown on a different browsers without any problems so that's pretty much it so bootstrap 4 relies on the flexbox and we create a separate in much better flexbox crash course so you can look at that so now the time is to come that we need to create the CSS grid course that will stand out and you can use it as a cheat sheet and learn from it go back just start uh, making your layout so we can create interesting layouts here so I told you about can I use you're already good with that so you can create interesting layouts and here in this layout this is my cover actually right so it's the same one as a background that I have put it here so I change my backgrounds based on what I teach so here I'm, I will tell you how we can define so we can do you can use you can untoggle and toggle this CSS grid but for that reason you, it's better to use um, Firefox because Firefox or Mozilla it's they have this functionality it's way way nicer right so you can toggle here display n line numbers which is also great and area names and extend lines infinitely I'm not, I, I don't use it pretty much but you can use it but and it's a very good idea if you have some um, uh, if you have like um, very very if you, if you have a couple of things on top right so that's pretty much it and now so you can create amazing layouts with rows and columns so that you can combine them so in flag box we can deal only with the rows or, or with the columns or with the rows right but we can't deal with both of them here you can mix them you can create so 
if you can create a combination of them that's why it's a very very good so before start doing anything else I suggest I'm just gonna close this part here and uh, this one is gone so what we can do is actually I will open XAM and I'm gonna create new folder called grid oops and uh, I don't want to be in capital just rename it or just make 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 any uh, folder with the name that you need you think it's relevant so grid and inside I'm just gonna create CSS folder and inside I'm just gonna create another folder uh, with IMG for images not much special now here we need to open or load your grid whatever text editor you're using it's gonna be fine don't worry so I don't need this welcome I will create here new file oops new file called index.html and here I have open bootstrap introduction I'm just gonna copy this we're not gonna use bootstrap but it's always nice to have it and here so we have everything here the title will be CSS grid like that hello world let's see if it's gonna load first grid and hello world is there I'm just gonna call create a new file called styles or style style.css doesn't matter and here what we're gonna do remember that we have done a basic reset before I'm not gonna bother you with the same things all over and over and open anyone on from here and just copy this part file open folder again and go to the grid put it here remove this display flex and flex direction column uh, everything else should be fine I think so now here we need to load this one and I'm just gonna lo load link in here I will say CSS and style.css so now very good it's it's gonna work hello world I don't need it again and that's pretty much it for our basic reset and for our HTML uh, file so here what I will create I will create a class called wrapper and inside this I will have uh, item class and I will just 10 times I need 10 one so I'm just gonna put two three and I'm gonna explain later why I need this six seven eight nine ten let's save it and see what's happening very good we have ten they're big like this because we have the phone weight of this if we exclude this phone weight it will be different right so phone weight of 30 should be fine don't worry about it so now we created what we need and it is good always now to go to start working in our project right so here actually I'm thinking about if I need to co co continue working on the project or no but it's um, because I always tend to make a longer lectures in some of the students they don't like it so I think I'm done for this lecture so what we're gonna do here next lecture we are gonna start working with the CSS grid right and um, we already have everything that what we need so next time we will continue working with CSS grid enjoy bye